Hi everybody and welcome to Free Source Reporting. My name is Colin Miller. I'm going to touch on a uh, little bit of news today. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission and 48 Attorney Generals um, filed a pair of twin lawsuits against Facebook on Wednesday accusing the company of a wide range of antitrust violations. Um, I'm quoting dailycaller.com right now. Um, they are accused of illegally maintaining its monopoly power by using a buy or bury strategy where competitors are either purchased or destroyed through a variety of tactics. The lawsuits point to Facebook's acquisition of WhatsApp and Instagram as solidifying the company's dominance. By effectively eliminating competition, Facebook is able to exercise significant control over what content users see and how personal information is collected, the lawsuit alleges. Both lawsuits point to Facebook's profitable model of using personal data to sell advertising. The company is able to exploit personal information solely to further its business interests without worrying about the interests of the users. The suit claims they also allegedly deprive advertisers of the opportunity to purchase advertisements at a lower cost by maintaining their monopoly. Jennifer Newstead, vice president and general counsel at Facebook, called the lawsuits revisionist history. Antitrust laws exist to protect consumers and promote innovation, not to punish successful businesses, Newstead told the Daily Caller in a statement. Instagram and WhatsApp became the incredible products they are today because Facebook invested billions of dollars in years of innovation and expertise to develop new features and better experiences for the millions who enjoy those products. The most important fact in this case, which the commission does not mention in its 53-page complaint, is that it cleared these acquisitions years ago. Newstead continued, The government now wants a do-over, sending a chilling warning to American business that no sale is ever final. People in small businesses don't choose to use Facebook's free services and advertising because they have to. They use them because our apps and services deliver the most value. We are going to vigorously defend people's ability to continue making that choice. The lawsuit was filed by 48 attorney generals and represents 47 states and the territory of Guam, which are all led by the state of New York. Both suits were filed in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. There's a quote. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush smaller rivals and snuff out competition, all at the expense of everyday users. New York Attorney, Attorney General Letita, Letitia James said in a press release, Today we are taking action to stand up for the millions of consumers and many small businesses that have been harmed by Facebook's illegal behavior. A variety of requests for relief were laid out by state and federal officials in the lawsuits, including divestiture or reconstruction of businesses such as Instagram and WhatsApp as necessary to restore competition. They also request that Facebook have prior notice and approval for mergers and acquisitions and periodically submit compliance reports to the FTC. Now, again, this is on the Daily Caller. And the reason I wanted to read this real quick is um, as much as I hate Facebook as a corporation and I hate its actions I hate how they silence dissenting opinions and remove content that they deem to be you know uh, not following the line with their community standards but somehow their community standards are okay with things like pedophilia and human child trafficking um, <clears throat> But I'm going to have to say that I'm kind of on Facebook's side right here because you can't be using antitrust laws that are to break up monopolies when you're dealing with a company that exists really solely on the internet. Um, there's nothing stopping any person with you know a little bit of money to start their own social media. Um, all you need is some server space and... Uh, WordPress and a couple plugins and, and I mean you can have basically a simple like MySpace type setup um, so there's there's nothing stopping people from creating alternatives like Parler, Gab and other other social media websites so how do you then declare that they are violating antitrust laws yes they bought up two other social media 
company. But did that? Did they buy out all of their competition? No, they did not. Um, and even if they did buy out all of their competition, any de web developer, programmer, with just a little bit of money could start a new one up the next day. The same people that they bought it from, unless it was in their contract, could start a new social media project the very next day after sale of one of their social media projects to another. So, it, I really hate to side with Facebook, but this lawsuit is absolute garbage. Um, you know, this isn't this isn't an oil company buying up all these small oil companies and then becoming the only dominant oil company and raising its prices because it, it has become an, a monopoly. Um, it's not. You know, forcing uh, people, Facebook isn't forcing people to work for low wages or else they get fired because they're the only company in that field. Um, it, it's just, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I just wanted to bring that up. Um, that's my opinion on it, and which actually surprises me because I, I have very many uh, issues with Facebook and how they handle their platform and how they treat their users. Um, and how they do use it to manipulate politically, socially. Uh, but, you know, to me, that's their right. They, they have a First Amendment right uh, for, you know, free speech and expression. And you agree to a set of terms when you join Facebook. So if you don't like it, you can leave. And uh, a lot of people are. And that's what, that's what Facebook's going to see here uh, over the next couple years is that they're not going to be the only dominating social media presence because they have gone too far in the past few years. They have gone too far with their censorship. They have gone too far with their manipulation. And, uh, you know, platforms like Parler and Gab have, you know, their usage has skyrocketed just in the past year. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, you know, in, in, I, and the only way that I see a antitrust lawsuit actually getting through is if is if Facebook were to join with Twitter and TikTok and Snapchat um, and be you know become Facebook or become one entity um, or to work hand in hand if if Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok and Microsoft and Google. Now, if all and Amazon, if they join together, that would be antitrust because it, they, Google and Amazon own probably, don't quote me, I, I think roughly around 75% of the world's um, servers outside private servers. So you, you're literally talking about, you know, who owns the on off buttons to the internet. So the, that, that could be a trust issue. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'll be having more videos coming out soon. Um, just getting back into the swing of things. Uh, so uh, thank you guys. You have a good night. I uh, hope you like this video. <laughs>